Hi, friends. Welcome to Localized History. Join us on a captivating journey through the rich tapestry of our local history. Delve into the stories, events, and personalities that have shaped our community over the years. From hidden gems to well-known landmarks, we uncover the fascinating tales that lie beneath the surface of our surroundings. Explore the legacy of our region, gain insights into its unique heritage, and rediscover the beauty of our past through engaging narratives, archival footage, and immersive storytelling. Subscribe now and embark on an enriching exploration of our shared localized history together. And now, here is the local history of the 45 past President of the United States of America last updated in 2023. This narrative make you fell proud as this leaders come from your local community and state. George Washington, first president, born on February 22, 1732, in Westmoreland County, Virginia. He took his degree at, not recorded, with a degree of not recorded. He graduated on, not recorded. He became president at the age of 57 and served from 1789 to 1797. The cause of his death is acute epiglottitis on 1799. At the age of 67, next is John Adams, second president, born on October 30, 1735 in Quincy, Massachusetts. He took his degree at Harvard University with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1755. He became president at the age of 61 and served from 1797 to 1801. The cause of his death is heart failure on 1826 at the age of 90. Next is Thomas Jefferson, third president. Born on April 13, 1743 in Shadwell, Virginia, he took his degree at College of William and Mary with a degree of, not recorded. He graduated on 1762. He became president at the age of 57 and served from 1801 to 1809. The cause of his death is complications from an intestinal disorder on 1826 at the age of 83. Next is James Madison, fourth president. Born on March 16, 1751 in Port Conway, Virginia, he took his degree at Princeton University, then College of New Jersey, with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1771. He became president at the age of 57 and served from 1809 to 1817. The cause of his death is heart failure on 1836 at the age of 85. Next is James Monroe, fifth president born on April 28, 1758, on Monroe Hall, Virginia. He took his degree at College of William and Mary, with a degree of, not recorded. He graduated on, not recorded. He became president at the age of 58, and served from 1817 to 1825. The cause of his death is tuberculosis and heart failure on 1831 at the age of 73. Next is John Quincy Adams, sixth president. Born on July 11, 1767 in Braintree, Massachusetts, now Quincy. He took his degree at Harvard University with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts, A.M., Master of Arts. He graduated on 1787 for his A.B. Bachelor of Arts, and on 1790 for his A.M. Master of Arts. He became president at the age of 57 and served from 1825 to 1829, the cause of his death is stroke on 1848 at the age of 80. Next is Andrew Jackson, 7th president. Born on March 15, 1767 in Waxhaws Region, South Carolina. He took his degree at Not Recorded. With a degree of Not Recorded, he graduated on Not Recorded. He became president at the age of 61 and served from 1829 to 1837. The cause of his death is congestive heart failure and chronic tuberculosis on 1845 at the age of 78. Next is Martin Van Buren, 8th president, born on December 5, 1782 in Kinderhook, New York. He took his degree at Not Recorded with a degree of Not Recorded. He graduated on Not Recorded. He became president at the age of 54 and served from 1837 to 1841. The cause of his death is acute bronchial asthma and heart failure on 1862, at the age of 79. Next, William Henry Harrison, 9th president, born on February 9, 1773 in Charles City County, Virginia. He took his degree at University of Pennsylvania, then College of Philadelphia, with a degree of medical apprenticeship. He graduated on, not recorded. He became president at the age of 68 
and served only for 31 days on 1841, died 31 days into his term, the cause of his death is pneumonia and septicemia on 1841 at the age of 68, next John Tyler, 10th president, born on March 29, 1790 in Charles City County, Virginia. He took his degree at College of William and Mary with a degree of none recorded. He graduated on 1807. He became president at the age of 51 and served from 1841 to 1845. The cause of his death is stroke on 1862 at the age of 71. Next is James K. Polk, 11th president, born on November 2, 1795 in Pineville, North Carolina. He took his degree at University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1818. He became president at the age of 49 and served from 1845 to 1849. The cause of his death is cholera and exhaustion on 1849 at the age of 53. Next is Zachary Taylor, 12th president, born on November 24, 1784 in Barbersville, Virginia, now Kentucky. He took his degree at Not Recorded, with a degree of Not Recorded he graduated on Not Recorded. He became president at the age of 64 and served from 1849 to 1850. The cause of his death is gastroenteritis on 1850 at the age of 65. Next is Millard Fillmore, 13th president, born on January 7, 1800 in Summerhill, New York. He took his degree at Not Recorded, with a degree of Not Recorded. He graduated on not recorded. He became president at the age of 50 and served from 1850 to 1853. The cause of his death is stroke on 1874 at the age of 74. Next is Franklin Pierce, 14th president, born on November 23, 1804 in Hillsborough, New Hampshire. He took his degree at Bowdoin College with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1824. He became president at the age of 48 and served from 1853 to 1857. The cause of his death is cirrhosis of the liver and stomach inflammation on 1869. At the age of 64, next is James Buchanan, 15th president, born on April 23, 1791 in Cove Gap, Pennsylvania. He took his degree at Dickinson College with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1809. He became president at the age of 65, and served from 1857 to 1861. The cause of his death is respiratory failure on 1868 at the age of 77. Next is Abraham Lincoln, 16th president, born on February 12, 1809 in Sinking Spring Farm, Kentucky. He took his degree at Not Recorded with a degree of Not Recorded. He graduated on Not Recorded. He became president at the age of 52, and served from 1861 to 1865. The cause of his death is assassination, gunshot wound, on 1865 at the age of 56. Next is Andrew Johnson, 17th president, born on December 29, 1808 in Raleigh, North Carolina. He took his degree at Not Recorded, with a degree of Not Recorded. He graduated on Not Recorded. He became president at the age of 56, and served from 1865 to 1869, the cause of his death is stroke on 1875. At the age of 66, next is Ulysses S. Grant, 18th president, born on April 27, 1822 in Point Pleasant, Ohio. He took his degree at United States Military Academy, West Point, with a degree of not recorded. He graduated on 1843. He became president at the age of 46, and served from 1869 to 1877. The cause of his death is throat cancer on 1885. At the age of 63, next is Rutherford B. Hayes, 19th president, born on October 4, 1822 in Delaware, Ohio. He took his degree at Kenyon College, Harvard Law School, with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts, L.L.B., Bachelor of Laws. He graduated on 1842 for his A.B. Bachelor of Arts, and on 1845 for his L.B. Bachelor of Law, he became president at the age of 54 and served from 1877 to 1881. The cause of his death is complications from a heart attack on 1893 at the age of 70. Next is James A. Garfield, 20th president. Born on November 19, 1831 in Orange Township, Ohio, 
He took his degree at Williams College Western Reserve Eclectic Institute, now Hiram College, with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1856. He became president at the age of 49 and served for only six months on that year of 1881, assassinated after six months. The cause of his death is assassination, gunshot wound, and subsequent infections on 1881 at the age of 49. Next is Chester A. Arthur, 21st president. Born on October 5, 1829 in Fairfield, Vermont, he took his degree at Union College with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1848, he became president at the age of 51 and served from 1881 to 1885. The cause of his death is cerebral hemorrhage on 1886 at the age of 57. Next is Grover Cleveland, first term, 22nd president. Born on March 18, 1837 in Caldwell, New Jersey, he took his degree at Not Recorded with a degree of Not Recorded. He graduated on Not Recorded. He became president at the age of 47 and served from 1885 to 1889. The cause of his death is heart attack and abdominal tumor on 1908 at the age of 71. Next is Benjamin Harrison, 23rd president. Born on August 20th, 1833 in North Bend, Ohio, he took his degree at Miami University, Cincinnati Law School, with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts, L.L.B., Bachelor of Laws. He graduated on 1852 for his A.B. Bachelor of Arts, and on 1854 for his L.L.B. Bachelor of Law, he became president at the age of 55 and served from 1889 to 1893. The cause of his death is pneumonia on 1901 at the age of 67. Next is Grover Cleveland, second term as 24th president. Born on March 18, 1837 in Caldwell, New Jersey, he took his degree at Not Recorded with a degree of Not Recorded. He graduated on Not Recorded. He became president at the age of 55 and served from 1893 to 1897. The cause of his death is heart attack and abdominal tumor on 1908 at the age of 71. Next is William McKinley, 25th president, born on January 29, 1843 in Niles, Ohio. He took his degree at Allegheny College with a degree of Not Recorded. He graduated on Not Recorded. He became president at the age of 54 and served from 1897 to 1901. The cause of his death is assassination, gunshot wound, and subsequent infection. On 1901, at the age of 58, next is Theodore Roosevelt, 26th president, born on October 27, 1858 in New York City, New York. He took his degree at Harvard University with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1880. He became president at the age of 42 and served from 1901 to 1909, the cause of his death. Coronary embolism on 1919 at the age of 60. Next is William Howard Taft, 27th president, born on September 15, 1857 in Cincinnati, Ohio. He took his degree at Yale University, University of Cincinnati College of Law, with a degree of B.A., Bachelor of Arts, L.L.B., Bachelor of Laws. He graduated on 1878 for his B.A. Bachelor of Arts and on 1880 for his L.L.B. Bachelor of Law. He became president at the age of 51 and served from 1909 to 1913. The cause of his death is cardiovascular disease on 1930 at the age of 72. Next is Woodrow Wilson, 28th president, born on December 28, 1856 in Staunton, Virginia. He took his degree at Princeton University, University of Virginia School of Law, Johns Hopkins University, with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts, J.D., Juris Doctor, Ph.D., Doctor of Philosophy. He graduated on 1879 for his A.B. Bachelor of Arts, on 1881 for his J.D. Juris Doctor, and on 1886 for his Ph.D. He became president at the age of 56 and served from 1913 to 1921. The cause of his death is stroke. On 1924, at the age of 67, next is Warren G. Harding, 29th president, born on November 2, 1865 in Blooming Grove, Ohio. He took his degree at Not Recorded, with a degree of Not Recorded. He graduated on Not Recorded. He became president at the age of 55 and served from 1921 to 1923. 
The cause of his death is heart attack and stroke on 1923, at the age of 57. Next is Calvin Coolidge, 30th president, born on July 4, 1872 in Plymouth, Vermont. He took his degree at Amherst College with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1895. He became president at the age of 51 and served from 1923 to 1929. The cause of his death is coronary thrombosis on 1933 at the age of 60. Next is Herbert Hoover, 31st president, born on August 10, 1874 in West Branch, Iowa. He took his degree at Stanford University with a degree of B.A., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1895. He became president at the age of 54 and served from 1929 to 1933. The cause of his death is internal bleeding related to gastrointestinal bleeding on 1964 at the age of 90. Next is Franklin D. Roosevelt, 32nd president. Born on January 30, 1882 in Hyde Park, New York, he took his degree at Harvard University Columbia Law School with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts, J.D., Juris Doctor. He graduated on 1903 for his A.B. Bachelor of Arts and on 1907 for his J.D. Juris Doctor. He became president at the age of 51 and served from 1933 to 1945. The cause of his death is cerebral hemorrhage on 1945. At the age of 63, next is Harry S. Truman, 33rd president, born on May 8, 1884 in Lamar, Missouri. He took his degree at Spalding's Commercial College, University of Missouri, Kansas City School of Law, with a degree of N.A., L.L.B., Bachelor of Laws. He graduated on 1925. He became president at the age of 60 and served from 1945 to 1953. The cause of his death is congestive heart failure and multiple organ failure on 1972. At the age of 88, next is Dwight D. Eisenhower, 34th president, born on October 14, 1890 in Denison, Texas. He took his degree at United States Military Academy, West Point, with a degree of none recorded. He graduated on 1915. He became president at the age of 62 and served from 1953 to 1961. The cause of his death is congestive heart failure in 1969 at the age of 78. Next is John F. Kennedy, 35th president, born on May 29, 1917 in Brooklyn, Massachusetts. He took his degree at Harvard University with a degree of A.B., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1940. He became president at the age of 43 and served from 1961 to 1963. The cause of his death is assassination, gunshot wound, on 1963. At the age of 46, next is Lyndon B. Johnson, 36th president, born on August 27, 1908 in Stonewall, Texas. He took his degree at Southwest Texas State Teachers College, now Texas State University, Georgetown University Law Center, with a degree of B.S., Bachelor of Science, J.D., Juris Doctor. He graduated on 1930 for his B.S. Bachelor of Science and on 1934 for his J.D. Juris Doctor. He became president at the age of 55 and served from 1963 to 1969. The cause of his death is myocardial infarction, heart attack, on 1973 at the age of 64. Next is Richard Nixon, 37th president born on January 9, 1913, in Yorba Linda, California. He took his degree at Whittier College, Duke University School of Law, with a degree of B.A., Bachelor of Arts, L.L.B., Bachelor of Laws. He graduated on 1934 for his B.A. Bachelor of Arts and on 1937 for his L.B. Bachelor of Law. He became president at the age of 56 and served from 1969 to 1974, the cause of his death is stroke. On 1994, at the age of 81, next is Gerald Ford, 38th president, born on July 14, 1913 in Omaha, Nebraska. He took his degree at University of Michigan Yale Law School with a degree of B.A., Bachelor of Arts, L.L.B., Bachelor of Laws. He graduated on 1935 for his B.A. Bachelor of Arts and on 1941 for his L.L.B. Bachelor of Law, he became president at the age of 61 and served from 1974 to 1977. The cause of his death is cerebrovascular disease and arteriosclerosis on 2006 at the age of 93.
Next is Jimmy Carter, 39th president. Born on October 1, 1924 in Plains, Georgia, he took his degree at United States Naval Academy with a degree of not recorded. He graduated on 1946. He became president at the age of 52 and served from 1977 to 1981. He's still alive as of 2023. Next is Ronald Reagan, 40th president, born on February 6, 1911 in Tampico, Illinois. He took his degree at Eureka College with a degree of B.A., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1932. He became president at the age of 69 and served from 1981 to 1989. The cause of his death is Alzheimer's disease on 2004 at the age of 93. Next is George H.W. Bush, 41st president. Born on June 12, 1924 in Milton, Massachusetts, he took his degree at Yale University with a degree of B.A., Bachelor of Arts. He graduated on 1948. He became president at the age of 64 and served from 1989 to 1993. The cause of his death is vascular Parkinsonism on 2018. At the age of 94, next is Bill Clinton, 42nd president, born on August 19, 1946 in Hope, Arkansas. He took his degree at Georgetown University, University College, Oxford, Yale Law School, with a degree of B.S., Bachelor of Science, B.Phil, Bachelor of Philosophy, and J.D. Juris Doctor. He graduated on 1968 for his B.S. Bachelor of Science, on 1970 for his B. Phil Bachelor of Philosophy, and on 1973 for his J.D. Juris Doctor. He became president at the age of 46 and served from 1993 to 2001, and he's still alive as of 2023. Next is George W. Bush, 43rd president. Born on July 6, 1946, in New Haven, Connecticut, he took his degree at Yale University, Harvard Business School, with a degree of B.A., Bachelor of Arts, M.B.A., Master of Business Administration, and graduated on 1968 for his B.A. Bachelor of Arts, on 1975 for his M.B.A. Master of Business Administration. He became president at the age of 54 and served from 2001 to 2009. He's still alive as of 2023. Next is Barack Obama, 44th president, born on August 4, 1961 in Honolulu, Hawaii. He took his degree at Occidental College, Columbia University, Harvard Law School with a degree of B.A., Bachelor of Arts, and J.D., Juris Doctor, and graduated on 1983 for his B.A. Bachelor of Arts, on 1991 for his J.D. Juris Doctor, he became president at the age of 47 and served from 2009 to 2017. He's still alive as of 2023. Next is Donald Trump, 45th president. Born on June 14, 1946 in Queens, New York City, New York. He took his degree at Fordham University, University of Pennsylvania, with a degree of B.S., Bachelor of Science, B.A., Bachelor of Arts, and graduated on 1968 for his B.S. Bachelor of Science and on 1969 for his B.A. Bachelor of Arts. He became president at age of 70 and served from 2017 to 2021. He's still alive and kicking as of 2023, the last but not the least, Joe Biden, the 46th and present president, born on November 20th, 1942 in Scranton, Pennsylvania. He took his degree at University of Delaware, Syracuse University College of Law with a degree, B.A., Bachelor of Arts, J.D., Juris Doctor, and graduated on 1965 for his B.A. Bachelor of Arts, on 1968 for his J.D. Juris Doctor. He became president at age of 78 and served from 2021 up to this day's. Thank you for watching. And want more like this? Please like and share and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get notified for the next local legacy.